Hi everyone, this is photographer Dan Creighton and today I'm going to show you how to create brushes in Photoshop. It's a very simple technique. Photoshop brushes have to be black and white. They have to be less than 3,000 pixels wide on their widest side. So you can see here I have my signature in black against white and in order to create a brush I go to edit define brush preset and once I do that it gives me a chance to name it now normally I would name this signature one or my name or something like that but I already have a signature brush created and to get to my signature brush I choose the brush tool come up to the brush picker and choose my brush now I can resize it change the color whatever I want to do now you can make brushes from anything signatures text artwork photos here I have a color photo of as the sky with a white cloud in it I want just the cloud as my brush so first thing I need to do is desaturate then I will go to levels and I will bring down the blacks to intensify the black and whites. Bring up the whites a little bit. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to choose a feathered brush, circular, and I'm going to paint black to get rid of some of the stuff I don't need here. I just want that one cloud as a brush. Okay. So now that I have that, now I can go to define brush. However, what will be your brush is black. So you got to invert this. Command I inverts it and now edit oop, image size. Make sure it's no wider than 3000. I will go 2000. Now edit define brush preset and we'll call it cloud one and now you will see if you come to a plain blue sky or in this case a blue filled palette you can create your brush change my brush to white and I'm instantly adding a cloud or clouds to the sky There you go. Now, here's a line drawing I made from a photograph of a flower. I demonstrated how to make line drawings in an earlier tutorial. Because it's black and white, I can make this into a brush. I'll call this flower. And now when I come into a photo, I can use this brush anywhere, anytime I want. I can change the color. Etc. I hope this helps you make some cool brushes for yourself and you find many uses for them in the future. I think that when you start realizing the power and potential of creating your own brushes, you'll use them way more than you think. Enjoy. 